There was a time that my grandfather had a grocery store and he had an employee that came to him and wanted to work seven days a week. And my grandfather would not permit it. And the man asked, why not? And he said, if you work seven days a week, you'll lose your way and forget why you're working. So my grandfather asked, why is it that you want to work seven days a week? He said, I don't want to work seven days a week. It's just that we can't make ends meet. And so my grandfather says, why didn't you just ask for a raise? And so the man ends up getting a raise. There was a principle in what they were discussing. And this is that we all need a rest. And this is what we find in the scriptures. It talks about a Sabbath. And a lot of people think that a Sabbath is a particular day. And what the word literally means is a rest. In the book of Hebrews, we find that it speaks about this idea of a rest. In Hebrews chapter 4, uh, it starts, in verse 8 it says, If Jesus has given them rest, then they would not afterwards have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that has entered into his rest, he has ceased from his own work as God did like him. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Now, of course, this is talking about the rest that we're all going to end or get at the end. But before we get to the end, we find that we need incremental rest. Now, what you may find is that it's more than just a physical rest because we are more than just physical beings. We are being inundated and overloaded with all kinds of things these days. And so we need a physical rest. We need a rest where it's an emotional, social rest. We need a rest and a break from technology and social media. We need to restore our souls. So people will ask on occasion, why is it important that I go to church on Sunday? It's more than just going to church on Sunday. It's allowing that entire day to be the Lord's day that you might be rested and refreshed and rejuvenated. I have taken a rest from these videos. I have been exhausted and uh, I still feel like I need more rest. Seems that this week that everyone I talk to seems to be getting sick. We push it to the brink to the point to where we cannot sustain it. So let us be wise in what we do. Let us take an assessment of our lives and let us value the rest. Take a look today at the pace that you're keeping and really the condition that your soul is in and evaluate it and ask, do I need a rest? Now there will be a rest at the end and yes, there is work to be done, but if we're going to end victoriously, we got to have the energy to do the work. So let's do it God's way. Thank you so much for tuning in and God bless.